that's hmm. the problem that actor faces if the co-actors or the director and the you don't get along or you don't that's the problem for me there was no such problem if my brother decides to be a doctor he will get advantage over the other kids because he's a doctor's child who owns a hospital i mean how are you going to stop that par aapke har waqt jo aap comments karte ho whenever you make the news wo sabko always bullseye pe hi lagta hai so thank you yaar <laughs> there are a lot of new actors who are not never kids as well like yeah. so many this film has changed my life forever hi i'm anushree mehta and i'm radhika apte and you're watching us on koimoi.com hi guys welcome to koimoi i'm grnel and today we have with us two powerful ladies one's radhika apte and the other anushree mehta hi welcome to koimoi both thank of you. you thank you first of all mrs undercover well anyone's a mrs here i'm not she is i'm not either what i'm miss m s but you ma- acha oh yeah i'm married yeah so <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> But there is a miss, yeah, MS. Yeah, MS. Yeah. yeah, I always use MS. Yeah. So how did Mrs. Undercover happen? Um, it happened. I think um, it the idea came to me uh, five years ago, and I was really, really, really wanting to become a director, and I wanted to tell a story that really had my whole heart, and I wanted to also give out a message along with making an. an entertaining family film and when this idea came to me it took me a long time to write it and i was also producing at the time hmm. so by the end of 2019 i finished uh, you know writing the film and uh, the producer of mrs undercover abhi sen gupta took me to radhika apte upon my uh, constant request that i want to you know really really narrate to her and i landed at her place one fine day two days before the first lockdown and narrated the idea to her and my good fortune that she immediately said yes to me and then do din baad lockdown ho gaya so then we were on zoom she read the script and um, then we started the prep and in between the two lockdowns we actually shot the film in 29 days 29 days yes wow to hum log ye bol sakte hai ki mrs undercover aisa script hai jo radhika ko man mein rakhe hi likha gaya hai bilkul bol sakte ho तो राधिका आपका प्रेप कैसा था ये रोल के लिए क्योंकि यू आर जस्ट नॉट अ हाउस वाइफ जो बच्चों के यूनिटेस का भी बहुत ख्याल रख रहे हो ऐसा <laughs> uh, कोई खास प्रेप नहीं था क्योंकि आई थिंक ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा रिलेटेबल कैरेक्टर है और इसकी इंस्पिरेशन लेने के लिए आजू बाजू इतने लोग हैं इतने औरतें हैं जिनको देख के हम मतलब यू नो हु दिस पर्सन इज यू नो हु दुर्गा इज यू नो जिसको the husband's treating her badly and she's capable of so much and you know she's she's a superhuman literally managing everybody in the family and um and i think so it was actually quite uh, relatable and resonated with me quite quickly to aapne koi special classes liye for the undercover part you know no, jo no. jumps or kicks sorry ye sab kuch nahi liye but next time le lungi for sure because <laughs> i think it's good to have a little bit of prep time for action Uh, but as she said that you know my schedule plus mm. lockdown plus whatever our re- like everything was quite tight so we didn't rehearse much but we have very good sequences we have we are very happy we are a great action director who's who patiently yeah <laughs> patiently uh, rehearsed everything yeah tolerated me <laughs> but uh, no no yeah. she's done everything almost mm-hmm. in one take ajay thakur our uh, action director was just just abhi he was telling me that you know there's something about that girl pehle to matlab you know you you show her something that you uh, want to do and then uh, aapko lagta hai ki thoda time lagega aur hmm. ek take me kar deti hai aur aise matlab 100x zyada acha kar deti hai expectation se to wo there is of course that amount of power that she has as an actor which is why she is at the place that she is so radhika ट्रेलर में हम लोग ने देखा कि आपकी एक सीन है जहाँ पे आपको शूट करना है और आपके एम बहुत मेलों से बहुत दूर है और वो गेम वाले की टोपी को लगता है तो आप रियल लाइफ में कैसे शूट करते हैं बहुत गंदे एक्चुअली मतलब अगर स्क्रीन पे है तो बहुत गंदे कुछ तो हो जाता है मुझे जो मुझे एम करना होता है ना स्क्रीन पे तो वो गलत ही लग जाता है इसलिए मैं परफेक्ट फिट थी इसमें क्योंकि वो गलत ही लगाना है पर रियल लाइफ में अपेरेंटली इतना बैड नहीं है हम शूटिंग रेंज गए थे दो दिन तो मतलब मेरा बुलजाय में एक लग भी गया 
तो हाँ <laughs> आपने अभी बोला है कि आपके एम्स कभी भी पॉइंट पे नहीं लगते जी पर आपके हर वक्त जो आप कमेंट्स करते हो वेन एवर यू मेक द न्यूज वो सबको ऑलवेज बुलजाई पे ही लगता है तो थैंक यू यार क्या बोलो पर हाउ डू यू फील दैट यू ऑलवेज इन द न्यूज लाइक फॉर एवरीथिंग डिट यू स्पीक अबाउट स्पेशली वेन पीपल आस्क यू कि ऐसे करो लाइक हैव योर बॉडी चेंज यू गेट एन डू सम सर्जरीज एन थिंग फिर आपको कैसा लगता है कि हैव यू एवर थॉट कि ये लोग इतने बोल रहे मे बी आई शुड गेट अंडर दिन नो आई डोंट आई डोंट थिंक दैट never ever thought no. ki i should get under the knife no. you're happy with the way you are very happy with who i am and how i am i'll never get under the knife do you think people will yet comment ki radhika aapko thoda ye karna chahiye to aur way karta people will keep comment, commenting no but i mean nobody anymore doesn't comment anymore abhi kuch nahi nahi yaar bahut pehle wali baat hai but even today i guess even as a director uh, have you ever uh, had people tell you ki ऐसे करना लो पीपल हैव सेड कि मुझे थोड़ा वेट पुल डाउन करना पड़ेगा फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक रोल लाइक यू बीन अ प्रोड्यूसर एज वेल सो हैव यू कम अक्रॉस सच इंसिडेंट सिंस वेन एक्ट्रेसेस हैव बीन लाइक आपको लगता है कि मैं सही हूँ ये रोल के लिए कि मुझे कुछ पुल डाउन करना पड़ेगा कुछ और वेट ऐड करना पड़ेगा या आई मीन इफ देर समथिंग रिलेटेड टू योर कैरेक्टर यू नो वेन एज अ इट्स गॉट नथिंग टू डू विथ राइट और डिरेक्टर और प्रोड्यूसर इट्स जस्ट अबाउट वॉट द स्क्रिप्ट रिली डिमांड्स कि आप it depends on what one is playing you know hmm. and it also depends on how you want to actually uh, portray it on screen so many times it happens ki um, just recently i read something which which spoke about there was there was a story about a woman you know going through a certain patch in her life hmm. emotionally and all of that and incidentally the actor that they had got pregnant and um, so so they they just were not very open to the idea you know but there is a way of doing it maybe she, they could really tweak it a little bit and she could be pregnant right hmm because that wouldn't change the story because it was on a very emotional uh, level so i was reading that actor's piece and i just i just really felt ki yeah i mean you know there's there's ways of looking at things differently while i say ki if a character demands and if you if you're doing something like simple as losing weight or gaining yeah. some absolutely but even if that is not done and if treated otherwise it's just a matter of perspective and how open one is as a collaboration and as a filmmaker and actor okay radhika being in the industry for so many years kya aapko lagta hai ki logo ki they have moved over this thing ki abhi body image utna mayne rak mayne nahi rakhta as much as it's a talent that's put forth do you think ki hum log itne evolve ho chuke hain i think there is definitely a change you know and uh, women and men of different body shapes and different i don't know look different conventionally different looking people are getting prominent parts mm-hmm. and thank god for that you know um uh, so that's it's changing but equally you have a lot of plastic surgeries happening also so it's a mixture of the two i think it's a mixture which you agree oh uh, while you are a self made actor there are a lot who lot of the new generation who are mostly nepo kids do you think that nepo kids because even they are always under the limelight and in fact many of the times wo log they've already undergone surgeries or under or getting groomed in a certain way kya wo it effect karta hai for the new crop the new batch of actors i think there are a lot of new actors who are not nepo kids as well like yeah. so many uh you know and really great actors as well so i think it's a mixture again you know you have some and i mean nepotism yeah i have if my brother decides to be a doctor he will get advantage over the other kids because yeah. he's a doctor's child who owns a hospital i mean how are you going to stop that you know what i mean yeah. everybody has it's it's why shouldn't that they they promote their kids if they have the money and the contacts it's a, it's not the black and white uh, thing hmm. you know it has it's a more complicated complex answer to that Okay, well, coming back to Mrs. Undercover, how was it shooting for the film in twenty nine days during lockdown? What were the troubles you all had, or some shortcomings? I mean, that if not lockdown, it would have been much easier to do. We didn't shoot during the lockdown. First lockdown, khatam hua. Uske baad, hmm. when things got a little better, that's when we started shooting it. 
So we shot 67 locations over 29 days wow. and there were political rallies going on and we had, you know, COVID restrictions hmm. and COVID guidelines to be followed also. So um, we were constantly swimming against the tide. There were new problems every single day, which happens on every film set uh, and in life in general as well. So we were firefighting and swimming against the tide and having a lot of fun. And I, I actually, that she asked me this question. I remember us having a discussion when you had a schedule on the set. So you set pe aaye, and in your style, you said, hey, Anushri, we will do this. I said, yes. <laughs> I said, it's unrealistic, I know. So you said, yeah, I don't have a problem. I'm just asking because there's just so much going around. Around us, I mean, there was just so much going on. So, I mean, we worked on an unrealistic schedule. Mm. It was madness. But I think only one day we had to shoot a little extra because there were like two, three action sequences on the same day. Mm. Apart from that, we've always finished in 12 hours time. All of that. But we all maintain it. It's been such a lovely journey. I mean... This film has changed my life forever. So, just amazing. Radha, what about you? Did you have any or difficulty during the shoot? No, I mean, actors ki life, aise, matlab, you know, I don't have tension. If I'm down below, it's a problem. Hai. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go to set and work. If there's a problem in the work, then that's hmm. the problem that actor faces. If the co-actors or the director and the, you don't get along or you don't... That's the problem. For me, there was no such problem. So, uh, you know, it was very smooth for me. Wow. That's yeah. that's nice. No? Yeah, 29 locations were where you were? I mean, 29? 67. 67 locations were where you were? When you start the film, you will win. Yeah, actually, oh, that's the best. How will you tell me the Because... Like, <laughs> main locations. Ki ye but, koi everything nahi. happened in Kolkata. Hmm. In and around Kolkata. So... There are so many locations there in Kolkata, which I am already in love with. And I would, I have not shot uh, there as yet. I wanted to, um, but it was very a very restrictive time. So we didn't do that in those places. So we went to second choices. Pe hum log Wo bhi itne locations the so each and every location is very, uh, very, very dear to me, as is the film. So. So, Radhika, Mrs. Undercom, what are your projects? I have a British film in Korea. I have a sister midnight. Okay. So, I have a lot of money. Almost. I have an American film. Hopefully, I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. Fingers crossed. I have a lot of money. And I have a Hindi film. So, uh, this year, three coffee and I'm series pe kaam kar And I think three coffee nahi hai. Alag -alag, languages, languages mein nahi hai. Alag -alag desho ki projects hai to, Isn't that like another feather for you ki Indian films nahi kar rahi Like I'm generalizing Indian as not just North yeah. South Indian films, but American or British films bhi hai mere So how does that feel? Good, yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> which which do you prefer if I have to ask you? <laughs> no, I think three are very different from one another. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very excited about all three. Very, very different from one another. Very different cultures? No, just very different films. Okay. Yeah. Don't you think it's it's a feather for us as an industry that our... Uh, it's it's a you huge know, actor is actually going places, going it's, global. It's a thing of being very proud. Because yes, very few Indian actors had originally gone abroad and we should be like very happy like whenever in, anything Indian goes abroad like for the Oscars when RRR went everyone was very proud so seeing Indian actors go abroad not just America but you know UK or the, Australia anywhere is a proud moment so congratulations thank you. and thanks for making us proud Radhika thank you continue making us proud very more. kind of you thank, thank you. you lovely talking both of you thank, thank you and all the best for Mrs. Antikawa thank, thank you so you much so. Thank, thank you, you. Sweet. Thank you.